So hey there y'all, welcome to my video poolside. I'm multitasking today and I thought, you know, I got a couple hours to hang out by the pool before I have to go to work. So I thought, you know what, I'll just sit right here and I'm gonna teach you all some Southern slang. Yes, some Southern slang, things I say, redneck words. And in this video today, <laughs> I hope you get a kick out of this. I'm gonna give you the slang. I'm gonna tell you what it means. I'm gonna tell you how it originated. And this should be a fun little video. So let's just hang out by the pool and talk some Southern slang, y'all. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Renee and I am filming a video poolside. I will say some random word or a southern word or use southern slang or kind of redneck words in my videos because you all know I live in Kentucky. I am a southern girl and I always get comments and questions from you all like, what did you mean? I didn't understand that. So in today's video, I'm gonna run down all of my favorite southern slang things I say all the time. I'm going to put them on the screen so you can see exactly how I spell them. I don't really know how they're spelled. <laughs> and I'm going to explain to you what they mean, how they got started, and all those good things. So let's get going with some southern slang. And I'm going to start you off easy with a super simple one. I know you know it, but this is just to just get your feet wet. It's y'all. I say y'all all the time. You might say you all, you guys, you ones. Like there's all kinds of versions of that, but for me, it's y'all. I say y'all for any reason. I can talk to anybody and say y'all. Anybody is a y'all in my world. Why? Poop. A L L. Y'all. If you come into Kentucky or you're coming to the South, y'all come on. The next terminology is Johnny up. When you Johnny up and do something, that means you didn't plan it, you didn't think about it, you just up and did anything. So like if you're going to go to the lake on the weekend, you just instead of planning out your food and making sure you had drinks on the boat and like who all is going to go and what time are you going to meet, you just Johnny up and go to the lake. You literally jump off the couch, get in your car and go to the lake. You just Johnny up and do something. No preparation, no planning, no forethought. You just do it. <laughs> spontaneous basically you're being spontaneous one of my favorites and I say it all the time is your dragon booty dragon booty that means you're slow you're tired you don't have any energy you're dragging your booty behind you <laughs> maybe you didn't get enough sleep maybe you're overworked who knows we you know what the reasoning is but you're just dragging your booty and in the summertime because our ice cream shop is so busy and I work so much I feel like I'm dragging booty all summer that's why if i have a moment to sit out by my pool i'm gonna take advantage of it not much pumpkin he or she is not much pumpkin or a thing can be not much pumpkin and it's pumpkin p-u-n-k-i-n not pumpkin like like a pumpkin it's pumpkin not much pumpkin <laughs> what that means is if somebody just doesn't have it they're not worth their weight they're not getting it, they're not contributing, they're not getting the job done, they're just not much pumpkin. They just, they just don't have it. They're not much pumpkin. I'm trying to think of a better way to explain that to you. If you're not a go-getter, a 100%er, giving it all you got, then you're not much pumpkin. I always bring my pumpkin. <laughs> but some people, just not much pumpkin. And it's not a temporary thing. Not much pumpkin is how you refer to a person or thing always that's just them that's who they are they're just not much pumpkin next southern slang is something that i learned from my grandfather we live in kentucky there's farms everywhere most folks who live around here know what a farm looks like crops farms cows pigs cornfields soybeans strawberry fields the next southern slang is in the short rolls so what that means is if you're doing a job and it's a really big job and you're almost finished you can see the finish line where you're in the short rows and that reference is to a field of crops the the rows on the outside of the field according to my grandfather are generally shorter than the rows within the middle of the field so when you get in the short rows you're almost done 
And it's funny because my grandfather passed away probably 10 or 12 years ago now. He lived up the street from me growing up. This was my father's dad. We actually worked in the same office together for about 10 years. So I spent a lot of time with my grandfather. I called him Papa. I got a lot of funny sayings from him, but in the short rows is one that has really stuck with me and I say it all the time. Are you having a coming apart? Do you know what that means? A uh, coming apart. It means you're having a breakdown. You're super worked up about something. Like you're, you're just coming apart about it. You're having a coming apart. If anything happens and somebody gets like outside of their self, beside themselves about something, gets all super worked up, you're having a coming apart. And I try to keep my cool at the ice cream shop. I've told you all before, I have 17 teenagers that work for me. And in the summer, we're super busy. And the kids know, don't make me mad. Don't make me have a coming apart. Sometimes teenagers can just do the dumbest things. They just don't think about what they're doing. They just do something and it can drive me nuts and I can have a coming apart and they know they don't want to make that happen. <laughs> so don't have a coming apart on anybody today. You can have a coming apart like personally within yourself or you can have a coming apart at somebody and that is what you want to keep under control i try to not have too many coming aparts but it happens and if i'm having a coming apart at you and i ever stomp my foot oh that's bad all the kids know <laughs> that is like the highest level of a coming apart for me is if I stomp my foot. And I think in the five years that our ice cream shop has been open, I have only stomped my foot two times. No, 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 back up. I have stomped my foot four times. Those are funny stories. When those kids that don't work for me anymore have graduated and move on, I will share those stories with you sometimes. We all still talk about them and laugh about them at work. But I've had four coming apart where I stomped my foot. That's a whole nother video. Y'all know this one if you've been on my channel. You're taking a Judy. Taking a Judy. Taking a nap. I love to take a Judy. I take a Judy on my couch every night before bedtime if I can. Even if it's just a 10 minute little Judy. I love to get in a Judy. My dogs, Maxine Pollux, take Judy's all day. And let me tell you where this story came from. My mother-in-law's name is Judy. And on Christmas Eve, they went to Christmas math. My father-in-law, my mother-in-law, all my sister-in-laws were all sitting in church together and my mother-in-law fell asleep on my father-in-law's shoulder in the middle of Christmas mass. <laughs> so my sister-in-law pulled out her phone, took a secret little picture of my mother-in-law taking a Judy in church and sent it out to everybody in the family so by the time we all got over there for Christmas dinner and opening gifts and all that stuff this was like the talk of the family and we just coined it taking a Judy and it has stuck this has probably been 15 years ago that this happened everybody in my family says it we joke about it it's become like common terminology and I have used it on my channel so many times that even you all now say taking a Judy and I love it I love to tell my mother-in-law <laughs> that she's like coined a whole new phrase she thinks it's hilarious but yeah i'm not gonna get to take a judy today because i gotta go to work but hopefully you can get a judy in oh y'all had to come inside i was hot out there sunshine hot woo i needed a moment so i'm gonna finish this video in the kitchen i'm gonna cool down so my next saying is oh my goodness my daughter's best friend kendall's best friend from the time they were in kindergarten, literally until now, and these girls are 23 years old. Her best friend's name is Emily. Emily is one of the funniest people I think I've ever met. She just, even when she was a kid, she would just say stuff that would put me in stitches. Like I would be in the floor laughing at her. I love Emily. If something ticks you off, makes you mad, like you just cannot believe that that happened, that burns your biscuits, right? Such a southern term, biscuits burning, I just, it just cracks me up. As she has been saying that for years and years and years, that burns my biscuits. Okay, this next one is one you're gonna wanna know because I have an upcoming video that's gonna use this term a lot. Do you know what a spit shine is? Spit shine, you know, 
you're, you, something's dirty, you need to clean it, you don't have time to clean it, so you, you know, and you just wipe it off with a spit on your thumb, it's a spit shot. <laughs> we do that in the South. <laughs> no joke, just, you probably do it everywhere, y'all just come call it something else. I don't want to tell you how a spit shine is going to come into context in a future video, but I promise it's going to. So if you're in a hurry and something's dirty, you need to pick something up, clean something up really quick, just do a spit shine. Don't tell anybody, just... Do a eh, spit shine. <laughs> oh, and then the next, this next term, I even hate to say it, but it applies to me directly at this moment. So I don't feel bad about sharing this Southern term with you. So I've told you all several times before how I have put on a couple pounds in quarantine. I'm turning 50. Like all of this stuff happened at once and I have tatered up. Y'all ever heard that? Tatered up. It's a term we use in the South. When somebody has gotten big or put on some weight, they've tatered up. And I have tatered up just a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, tatering up is, is, is a thing. Y'all, it really is a thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's because we live in the South and we love potatoes. I don't really know. But if somebody taters up, that's really not a great thing. And you probably don't want to say that to their face. But I'm working on my tater, y'all. I am. I promise I'm working on it. Oh, and then you've probably heard this one. You done did it. You done did it. You, 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 done, you just done did it. <laughs> if somebody does something, and it doesn't matter what that something is, but that something causes a chain reaction or a big event or like a big hoo-ha about something, well, you done did it. And I love that term. It is probably unique to the South, but you done did it. You can say, I done did it, you done did it, look what you done did. There's all of these ways that you can use done did it, and I say that all the time. And this is the last one, the last of my Southern slang. I know there are probably so many more. I just, you know, I'm going to end it right here. Now, I have gray hair, I have curly hair. You know, us ladies love to go to the salon and whether it doesn't matter what you do to your hair, you color it, you cut it, you it doesn't matter. But if you've gone to the hair salon, you got your hair did. Doesn't matter what you did to it, but you got your hair did. <laughs> it's a common term, like everybody says it. If I run into anybody and they've just left the salon or their hair's looking great, you say, did you get your hair did? It's a southern thing, y'all. My hairdresser will appreciate that. I don't have to get my hair did as much as I used to <laughs> since I went gray. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a girl thing. You go to the hair salon, you got your hair did. All right, guys, that's my southern slang. That's my definition. It might be Renee slang. It might be unique to where I live. I don't know. I'm sure everybody's got their own funny slang, but that's my version of it. I hope you got a good laugh out of that because now that all these slang terms are fresh in my mind, I'm probably going to go to work tonight and use every single one of them on somebody at the ice cream shop. <laughs> it's just, they're just going to come out. I hope that you enjoyed this funny little video. Write in the comments below what your favorite slang term is. Tell me something you use where you live that I have probably never heard of. Living in the South, this could be a hilarious conversation, and I'll see you later.